Lately, I've been experiencing a deep sense of peace. And I think it's because a lot of things have come into place in my life recently. It's as if all the negativity has been cleansed for me. Alright guys, so today, we're going cafe hopping. <laughs> Wait, are you sure heading in the right direction? Defo? And now, Defo? Okay, okay, Defo. I want to be a better person. <laughs> but what does it mean to be at peace? I think being at peace means feeling stable. So here are some things that have made me more peaceful recently. Being at peace is almost always in your head. You know, being at peace is a state of mind. So if your mind is not at peace, you will never be at peace. No matter how much money you earn, no matter what you do. So yeah, don't be scared to ask for help. For a long time, I was scared because I thought, you know, my problems aren't that bad, so there's no point in me asking for professional help. But I did seek help recently, and yeah, it's, it's nice to be assessed by someone who actually knows what they're doing, instead of just self-diagnosing yourself. Test, test, one, two, three. And yeah, when a psychologist tells you that you're not suffering from anything, it's kind of comforting in a way. <laughs> like, it gave me confidence that all my problems could be fixed, and that there was nothing that I really needed serious help for. What the fuck is this, bro? I don't remember this party being like this before. I mean, there's renovation works and stuff, so that's new. Secondly, you need to have financial stability. Having money isn't everything, but not having it is. All right, guys. So today, we're going cafe hopping. Which was the canteen? Having a stable income and meeting my basic needs made me feel secure, so I could focus on other aspects of my well-being. Whoa! dark but yes let's go i'm quite privileged in this aspect i have a supportive family who give me a roof over my head but i got complacent thinking i don't need to earn much money to go about my life so i was earning quite little and not having much money made me miss out on a lot of things like having a nice outing come on faster eat it Good. So yeah, the other day when I hung out with my friends, that was really fun. And I couldn't have done that if I didn't have the money to spend for all these simple pleasures. Not having money gave me stress because I was so careful of how I spent every single dollar. I was living, but not living the life I wanted. The experiences, not the material things you buy with money, is so important to having a secure and fulfilling life. I also needed to build stable and supportive relationships in my life. We're all social creatures and we can't really live without healthy relationships with other people. Doesn't matter if it's friendships or family or partners. I needed to nurture healthy and supportive connections. Oh, shit. I have a close friend group who I spend my time with regularly. And recently I've been making new friends and getting closer to people who I've known for many years but never expected to be so close to. And it's been really refreshing. I don't think this. I don't think this sounds so fun. <laughs> Maybe I'm just extroverted, but I love hanging out with people who I like and support me. Hello, everybody. Today we are here at the shop. I have no idea what this shop is called, but none of us can afford anything here. Yeah. And just now. Uh, I think so. Yeah, just now Tim hit his head on something and like I think he had to pay like 50 bucks. <laughs> and then I find out how much it was. <laughs> just, where, just where Tim hit his head. <laughs> the last point is kind of related to mental stability. But I think that it's the last step to being at peace. Because it also gives you a starting off point to be a better person. And that is learning how to heal and let go. I had to let go of a lot of things that used to haunt me. In fact, for the past few months, I've been having nightmares about my time in the world, Which is kind of embarrassing because even though I told myself I'm letting go of the past, my subconscious mind hasn't. Alright, so you got... Alright! 
You look how you're a dirty matcha. I thought that maybe I wasn't over the pain. That period of my life caused me. But then I remembered, winning and letting go is a continuous process and it always requires you to be self-compassionate. So Some days are worse than others, but in the long run, things have gotten a lot better. Forgiving myself for my mistakes in the past. Forgiving and letting go of people who hurt me. Doing this has given me clarity and made me realise that I don't have to exact revenge or vengeance on anyone. I'm like, who the fuck am I? Batman? Broke matcha is okay. Expensive matcha, do we stir or what? Even if people have done me dirty in the past, it was probably unintentional. And even if it was intentional, that's their choice. It reflects them and not on me. I just needed to let them go. If you know me personally, you know that I have a lot of ambition. So a lot of the things that I do, I do it because I really want to. But for a while, I was also partly doing these things because I wanted to prove those who doubted me wrong. I wanted to be better than those who hurt me. I wanted to just beat my enemies. But I have no enemies. No one is out to get me. They're just people I once had conflict with. Everyone is on their own path. I think this is like a six though. And I just needed to let go of those who knocked me off my path a little. I also had a lot of people who helped me on my path too. And I want to be that person who helps others on their path. So be a better person. Help someone out. Because it doesn't cost you anything. Just be kind. And eventually, one day the kindness will be paid back. Be a kind and better person because you have no enemies unless someone is trying to murder